Sam, what are you yeah. doing with you? What is your regime? You look amazing. <laughs> Kyle wants some tips. <laughs> Sam looks so slim and trim this morning. He does. You and like a new man. You you look great, Sammy. You do. Uh, now a rare and detailed exploration of one of our least discussed topics here on the morning news. My body. <laughs> uh, you may have noticed that since the new year, I've made a sincere effort to improve my overall health and try to knock off some weight in the process. Good news is the whole thing has really worked for me, and I think there are many elements here that would work for anyone. But before we focus on the after, we're going to spend a little time on the before, and the before was not good. I weighed well over 200 pounds, and for someone who stands 5'10", that's too much. And much of that excess weight was concentrated right on my belly. It was not the dry cleaner's fault. Some of my pants didn't fit or buttons were popping from shirts or my jackets. It was my fault and my bad habits. With the encouragement of the KTLA crew, our producer, Layla, uh, I enlisted the help of a guest we've had here, Dr. Daryl Joffrey. And here you'll see me, my wife, Leslie, our dog, Prince, and Dr. Daryl, when we met in January, and it was, frankly, a little hard for me to watch this tape because the belly is really? just massive. Mm -hmm. And as it turned out, that was not my only problem. All right, my wife just put it very well. It's come to this. Uh, doctor, it's good to see you. Thanks for this. My pleasure. Nice, well, to, nice to meet you both, and really it's great to be here. Happy to have you here. What, what are we doing right now? So this is something called heart rate variability. This has been the gold standard for the past 50 years, uh, really measuring brain system health and also cardiovascular function. In fact, there's research showing that this is more important to the blood system than actually cholesterol. And I know uh, you've you know, looked at your blood before. We're going to look at it today. But this is going to give us a baseline. One of my mantras with health is test, don't guess. So we want to get some baselines today because we're about to change your life, right? This is about a transformation. I know one of your goals is weight loss, and we'll talk more about that. But the byproduct of weight loss is driving more health into the system. See, I would, and, and maybe I'm in a bit of denial, but I'd say I've got too big a belly, but otherwise I'm fine or I'm good. And is that, is that a naive thing to say? Or? So I think the biggest mistake that people make in our day and age is that they judge their health based on the symptom. What we need to look at is what's underneath the surface. That's the stuff that the blood work shows us. The belly fat's the dangerous fat anyway. So when the body's holding on to fat, it's a sign of deeper stuff going on in the body. So this is looking at your 61. Right. That's what this is right here. This calculates your biological age. Oh gosh, I'm, oh, and it's there, alarming. Okay. And there's tons of algor algorithms. Right. You're 69. That's terrible. We need to turn the clock back, and we can, and we will. Okay, that's right. really disturbing. Your cholesterol was 201. I'm actually not concerned about that. Most doctors will say that's, that's elevated, right. but for someone over 60, from the range of 200 to 300 is actually in a normal range. So that's actually okay. Oh. What I am concerned about is your triglycerides. It's, I mean, it's 464. Right. I want the number to be between 50 and 100. But when we see this number of 464, that's extremely high. There's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, obviously the diet's a big one. Um, inflammation's a big one as well. But I think your gut has a lot to do with this. Probably the one I'm most concerned about here, your A1C was 6.7. Okay. And you can see right there, greater than 6.4 is diabetes. All right. Like I know you're big into snacking right, right. now, especially when you're at the station. Right. So we gotta talk about um, your challenges and your obstacles. Right. But how many times would you say you eat during the day? Meals, snacks? Well, today, the only thing I've had all day is one snack pack of Oreo. <laughs> that were there, which was, I think, like, quote, unquote, the 100-calorie pack, and two uh, mini Twix. He's never good at turning down or even just limiting the amount of sugar. My dilemma is not just having the first cupcake, but, oh, well, there's another one. And they're in his car. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that doesn't affect him. If I have that, like, I, I go into a coma, I have to take a nap for two hours. Yeah, well, again, it is affecting him. It's important that you know what these numbers mean and what they are because they're significant to your overall health. The reason why we all get out of balance is for two things. It's deficiency and toxicity. So that's our goal. We have to give your body the things that it hasn't been getting as far as the nutrients, and that's what I've created. I created this thing called the strength eating diet. We gotta get you off the stress eating roller coaster of all these snacking. Yeah. But, so the first step that we wanna do is we wanna take what you're doing with these unhealthy snacks and then give you some healthier options. All right, and I'm, I'm an optimistic person. Are we too late? Never too late. Okay. It's, it's never too late, and that's the most important message. I don't care where you're at, I don't care how old you're at, uh, what lifestyle you know, factors are going on, it's never too late, I say, to get off your acid and change your health. But you gotta start, you gotta start today.
Right. Okay, and that's what I did. And with Dr. Uh, Joffrey's advice and encouragement, I started on this journey to better health. The thing that completely freaked me out was when the computer told me my bi biological age, you saw there, 69, yeah. which is way older than my actual age. And I knew I needed to make this very radical change and something I've resisted my entire life. So over that past few months, Dr. Darrell's guided me through some significant changes in my diet. The headline, I've cut out the junk and I'd say 95% of the sweets and I learned a lot about sugar and sugar addiction and the ability to actually break that addiction. In the process, I've dropped a pretty significant amount of weight and there's several other health benefits and most importantly, if I can do it, I think you can do it too. It's been nine weeks since this all started. This Thursday, Dr. Uh, Joffrey will be here live. We'll see if my mm. biological age is approved. Mm. I sure hope so. Okay. Exactly how much weight I've dropped. And we'll look at other significant health markers. Dr. Joffrey will also share some incredible, this has been the thing that's so great, these food swaps. Like, well, don't have this, have this. Sure. And they're yeah. great and easy recipes. And Leslie's been incredibly supportive, has made all of them. And dare I say, it's relatively easy to do. Hmm. If you want to learn more about Dr. Joffrey, his book, Get Off Your Sugar, this is kind of the Bible for the whole thing, you can find many of the recipes that are so good, have been so helpful. Uh, the website is called Get Off Your Acid. He's very concerned about inflammation and all these different things. Getoffyouracid.com. And when you go to that first page, there's a variety of supplements, but really explore the site. Because some of these supplements are really helpful, but it's all the other stuff about him and the, the How the do book. you feel? Do you feel different than I, you did well, nine yeah, weeks ago? You know ago? what the thing is? In the, Energy. It, it is like shocking for me to say this. So, I mean, for the whole time I've been here, do the show, yeah. go home and take a nap. And now, it's amazing. You cut out the sugar and you don't, it's not mandatory at all. I'll take to naps take occasionally, nap. but I don't, used oh. to, I'd come home and I'd have to take right. a nap. And that was really what I learned. That was the sugar crash. Mm. I mean, we've all noticed a change, yeah. and it's been fantastic, and, and we're very happy for you. My concern always with any of these things right. is, is it sustainable? Yeah. Is, we can all lose 10 pounds, sure. 20 pounds, whatever. Is it sustainable? Is this a lifestyle change that you are going to actually adapt to, or is this something that, okay, it's been great for right. a few months, bye? I, I, I think so, and what he, what he talks about a lot is this idea of not deprivation, but moderation. So my, my real dilemma, you know, it, 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 depending on your, the way you live your life, it's easy. For me, the problem was here because right. there's a ton of you know, donuts and junk food here 24 seven, and I had all of it. And uh, so my big thing is don't eat here. And that, that is 85% of my problem, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, some days it's really tough. Right, right. But we'll find out more on Thursday. That's great, Sam. Thank you. Thank you.